It is currently midnight right now, and your boy's in Lexington Park, Maryland, chilling at a Starbucks. I just got done taking care of a few things, but we got midnight right here. It's kind of hard to see because she is black, but I got my GoPro attachment mounted up on the back, and this is for all you guys who have been requesting to see my custom new tune for my SI here. So it shoots flames, crackle, pop tune. It's really aggressive. I love the sound of it. I just kind of wish I had a full exhaust. So hope you guys enjoy. Let's get some night shots for you because the flame looks the best at night. I'm tired as hell, but I'm about to rip this strip right here, guys. It's like Three Notch Road. It's in Lexington Park for all you guys are familiar. So let's rip it, guys. I want to give a huge shout out to Nick out in Canada for hooking me up with this special tune for my SI. Good thing I brought my Flash Pro. Plug my Flash Pro in here guys and I have to upload the Crackle Pop tune because it's on my secondary Flash Pro calibration so I was just running Steve's E-Tune for reliability and gas mileage and then I have Nick's tune to just mess around with and have a good time. Let's get this thing plugged in here. All right guys, Flash Pro is plugged in. We're gonna switch the key to the on position and then we're gonna upload our secondary calibration. Currently uploading right now guys, as you can see. And we're about to be out there flame banging, crackling, popping around. So hopefully don't get into too much trouble. Even though this tune is really fun, guys, it uses a ton of fuel because you're just adding fuel along with the ignition retard. And I'm running the negative 10 right now. He hooked me up with the negative 10. And I tried it myself for the first time, guys. And he made it automatic so you don't have to... When you decel, you don't have to reapply the gas to activate the feature. You just let go of the accelerator, the gas pedal, and it just crackles automatically from like 2K. Anywhere from like 2K to like six grand, it crackles. So when I first tried it myself, it wasn't the craziest, but it still worked. Showing you guys how I pretty much crackle tuned it myself, pretty easy. So let's go shoot some flames. Absolutely gorgeous day out right now. It is 64 degrees and I'm ripping around with my crackle tune. Literally just messed with my ignition and added a little bit more fuel and that's how I'm able to get the exhaust cracks and pops and flames and backfire and, and whatever you want to call it. Rice burning. Crocs with socks. So I'm giving it gas and releasing off of the gas pedal. hard to hear but it's like little crackle it sounds like a popcorn machine but the real aggressive pops hang on let me see if i can get one for you guys this thing sounds so good and when it, they pop like it's really freaking loud like people are like looking around like what the heck was that it sounds like a freaking i call it a potato launcher because it literally sounds like a freaking potato launcher it'll be like little pops like pop 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 and then when you downshift from like fourth and the third it'll be like It'll be silent and then pop. I've seen people like break their neck. So if you guys want to see a video on that, like getting people's reactions, drop your comments down below. It's super hilarious. I think I'm going to do it anyways, just because I like to mess with people and it's really funny. So let's try to get a loud one for you guys. I'm going to downshift into fourth. There it is. Really, really fun tune. The only complaint that I have about it, like checking my air fuels, like you could see they bounce around like crazy. So it's not consistent like a regular tune, but 
the tuner definitely notified me like Nick even told me he's like dude you're burning a lot of fuel so just kind of use it for fun and that's exactly what I'm using it for guys so every time I like just want to have fun and mess with people or try to think I'm fast at least I'll bring out the uh, the crackle tune diesel tune whatever you want to call it so very very fun highly recommend it in terms of negative effects on it I'd say it's safe aside from like maybe breaking down excess material in your like muffler and exhaust system but I mean it's it's super fun guys I don't use it all the time so I don't really care the Subi right here she's about to get some side clips some little roller shots of the crackle tune so you guys can hear it from outside of the car a little bit better I saw the flames thing produces which is unreal This is just a catless header, alpha header with a stock mid pipe, and then I have an aftermarket axle back exhaust. So it's nothing crazy. I just really wish that I kept my Skunk 2 Mega Power R exhaust because I feel like that thing would have been just like insane sounding. I'm ready when you are. Yeah. So the tune is pretty much from 2K all the way to 8K, guys. It's my ignition low and my ignition high is tweaked with, and then he added something to the fuel trim. So pretty much when I decel, it'll decel and pop until I get under 2000 RPMs. All right, so now I'm going to put my E-Tunes one because like I said, this tune burns a lot of fuel and your boy's on a budget right now because unfortunately I just got laid off. So I don't want to eat too much fuel up and we're cheap. So we're going back to the regular E-Tunes tune because it runs very good and gets good mileage. Be sure to give me a like, drop your comments down below and subscribe if you want to see some more with the Crackle tune. Let me know what you guys want to see if you want to see more videos with the tune and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Go here to ignition. We have our ignition low. And then all you guys are doing are these first two columns right here. So one and two. Then you want to go to ignition high and do the same thing. First two columns, you could change the degrees right up here. If you guys don't feel comfortable doing this process yourself, let me know. Like I said, because honestly, for a first timer, it is kind of like nerve wracking. You're wondering if your car is going to like mess up or anything but i did it and like i said i liked it i would have stuck with how i customized it myself but i wanted it a little bit more refined which was not that big of a deal but either way you go it's going to sound similar and either way you do it is pretty much going to produce the flame so definitely hit me up down below if you guys are interested you can hook up some type of deal for cheap shout out to tuning by nick out in Canada for hooking me up with the tune. Shoots flames, I'm really happy with it. Also, I wanna give a shout out to all my fans, all my day ones who are staying with me throughout this process, throughout this journey. You guys really mean a lot to me. You guys motivate me to push out more content. And for the haters, I don't really care. Thanks for the view anyways. So if any of you guys or girls are interested in this tune for your SI, for either your eighth or ninth generation, Feel free to hit me up i can tune it for cheap and if you want a more advanced solution to this tune you can hit up tuning by nick so either one of us can work with you guys on making it possible for your si to shoot flames yes this thing is all motor yes it shoots flames for all you guys are wondering and my setup is very minimal so make sure you like it guys leave all the love down below and i'll see you in the next video peace out